Yo, it's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. You got your boy D.L. Hughley, man. He in the news about Kanye West. And you know everything that's going on with Kanye, you know, the West Side gun situation. People catching backlash, even speaking on this. But um, D.L. Hughley goes on, you know, and um, some things he's saying here, I must agree. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think, man. It's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. Don't forget to tune in tonight for the stream yard. Where you can tune in and hop on the panel and we're going to pretty much address this situation with the general public. But until then, get on them comments, fam. Hit that like, share button, man. Let me play the footage. Uh, that was Tupac, so many tears. I am noticing a consistent pattern with Kanye West. Uh, Kanye West tends to do outlandish things right before a product is launched. Uh, be it an album, a shoe, a, a, a sandals, I don't know what it is he does. Uh, and it always, he's always very specific with rantings. Uh, every time he goes on one of these rants, uh, he'll go crazy, uh, go on a rant. Then somebody in the family, allegedly close to the family, will introduce in TMZ or some article that they're concerned about him. Uh, but he's always specific with his rants. He's never uh, so crazy that he includes white people, always black people, and it's always specific, always specific. Uh, I said before that he and Donald Trump are exactly the same type of man. Now, one man will tell you that ingesting disinfectants will cure COVID, and the other will tell you that Harriet Tubman didn't free anybody. She just led them uh, to, other, to, to, to work for other white people. Now, um, it's interesting because over the weekend, uh, the Secretary of Defense decided that it was only right to remove the names of the Confederates from all of the bases across the country. And uh, Donald Trump, in an interview with Mike Wallace, said, I don't, well, who are we going to name them after, Al Sharpton? Nobody believes that a base will ever be named after Al Sharpton, but they could after Harry Tubman. She was so noteworthy, as a matter of fact, that before Trump got into office, she was slated to be on currency. So Kanye's rantings did not come out of nowhere. They were very specific. Kanye West is a talented man. And he, he wrote Jesus Walks, but so did Moses. And her name was Harriet Tubman. And she freed almost a hundred people through guile and wit and courage and faith. Every time I turn around, Kanye West is putting an asterisk next to the suffering of black people. And he gets it excused away. Maybe you will. I choose not to. She wasn't, uh, Harriet, Harriet Tubman wasn't just a, 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 she was one of the most noteworthy human beings ever. She wasn't just some woman, some uh, 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 footnote in history. She did things that women today have a hard time doing. She led and people followed. We live in a society right now where that's difficult. We talk about black girl magic. She was the epitome of it. And you minimize it for other people's folly. Harriet Tubman, according to Kanye West, wasn't the no, most noteworthy abolitionist ever. She ran a temp agency. It wasn't as simple as, as deciding that I'm going to free these people if it costs my life. She wasn't a moving van moving them from one job to another. She was taking them out of bondage and in putting matters into their own hand. Yes, they probably did work for other white people like we do right now. Like the largest percentage of the country work for somebody right now. All of us don't get to sell shoes and bullshit to people. Some of us have to work. But that woman risked her life to take people who had never known anything but pain and suffering and humiliation and led them somewhere. And it wasn't Apple. It wasn't a temp agency. It was to freedom. It was to decide how, what they would eat, what they would wear, what their children's name would be, who they would marry. If you equate that to just a job, then you're sicker than I thought you were. And it says a lot more about the people who continue to support him. 2% of the country would vote for a man who you saw who regularly have a breakdown on stage. Regularly do it. No idea. Doesn't read at all. Isn't interested in history. Is interested in himself. He is no more. Uh, 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 he is no more than Donald Trump at all. He is a very, very talented man. He is very talented musically. No one could deny it. And I think that's mesmerizing to a lot of people. He is so talented musically that you listen to his rantings. 
He is very talented, music, talented musically. But let's not forget, the minister of music in heaven was the devil. That's a little note for the GED section. We got the jazz report coming up. We're after Drake, no guidance. This is the Dale Hughley Show.